I mean, it's because right now, if Echo just goes for the Granger, right, you are going to be very vulnerable to the dive that Ling and Cho have. Thing is, though, you're not the sole damage dealer. If you do get targeted, you still have that Zaman Force on the Herith. You still have the Yi. And oh! No Granger. It's the Yi Sun Shin from Carl TZ. First time at M4. My goodness. It's a debut. It's a debut alongside the Ruby. So wow. I'm guessing that's the Roamer. Ruby in the hands of Yaoi. Oh, Yi Sun Shin. We mentioned how possibly. He could be on the decline, but he did get a you know a little buff in the last patch. And also, I want to say something about the YSS. This character, the reason why he's not as good as hybrid character Greg Granger is because the meta is heavily focused on tank. But if you look at Team Hawk, there were squishy characters, right? Yeah, Chow might be tanked, a little bit tankier. But Valentina Claude, if it is, especially when Claude jumps onto the YSS, he might just jump into his own demise. Yeah, and uh, also, he got a rework where in, in his passive, there is now a built-in movement speed, so he can help Kite. Yep. Oh, man. I don't know, though. Personally, I've tried the Yi Sun Shin. I'm no Carl Teezy, but it did not work, man. <laughs> no damage. Even though I just scaled off to the late game, I got all of my items. Level 15, again, no Carl Teezy. I'm not, I'm not a Carl Teezy, but did no damage. Full disclaimer. Full disclaimer. I'm no Carl Teezy. But were you also going against, like, two tanks on the other side? Though? Yeah, I was up against a lot of time. That's why I did nothing. I did nothing. I just caught dove on, dove on, dove on. But I did not have a Yaoi peel as well. So, Yaoi on the Ruby. Uh, last pick, Fovius. On paper, it looks amazing. I'm liking it because, again, you have a Yusin Chin with Harith. that passive you want to trigger. The Harith. Ruby. The Ruby. Uh, Yuzhong has a nice dash in there built into his kit. Yup. Uh, is this trouble? For, I think it is. For Echo? Are they gonna crumble under the demonic force? Well, the demonic force is gonna be a massive weapon that they can use, but look at the crowd. This is a weapon that both teams can use. The support <laughs> coming in by both Echo and Team Hawk as we get ourselves ready. Let's hear it once again! Tennis indoors and Nyan for Team Hawk and for Echo in game number four. As both sides now walking into the game, both teams are trying to get as much vision as they can. They both play really aggressive, looking in, looking for vision immediately. And by the way, that's a sexy ruby skin right there. Yep, I, I wonder that what is it is. The Aspirant <laughs> skin uh, about released a month ago, and you, you just gotta grab it. I think uh, the timer's uh, running out on that. Go get it. Now, look at this aggressive move by Min. Checking in. Can he get trapped in by Yaoi and Sanji? Uh-oh, it's also a lane swap once again. The Malaysian swap here. As Min jumps in, is able to actually find oh. some time here. Flickers out to safety. Wow, I mean, uh, already really aggressive. It's Min. You know, yes, he's getting cornered by three people, but remember, it's Min, right? He's unkillable. You know, when, he, when he roams around like that, and now he's getting so much vision, he knows exactly where everybody is. You can see Ling is finding the invade, and that's the value Ming brings on the table. Because you know where enemies are, majority of them, that gives Ling so much rotation options. Here we go. Uh-oh, that's going to be Min taking Min. low first blood over to Carl TZ. Gary's not level four just yet. Has to wait a bit, and Carl TZ so far is oh. doing really good. Gary, though, finally gets level four. Ooh. Doesn't decide to commit. Carl TZ follows through with a mounted shocker, now revealing everyone on the map, too. Impressive target acquisition by Carl TZ here. M2 Grand Finals MVP. You saw how he knew that the orange wouldn't reset, and then he just picked off Min and then moved on. Wow. Yeah, very accurate. Now 15 seconds before the turtle. Min is level three. We have about three level threes right here, actually from the side of Hack. And you have more, I think, oh, the same thing, about three level threes from the side of Echo. It's a completely even game so far. Now with the late game scaling, likewise, as this is looking good, actually, to the favor of Echo. It's just, again, right? Here team we Hawk were trying their best to invade an enemy team, but it actually just gives Echo a bit of an edge because now Carl TZ, oh. he got a first blood. Sanford as well on that winning lane, able to get to the turtle side first. The mid control is fully controlled by Echo. And this is where you start to question, is this Yu Sun Shin going to actually snowball? Is this going to change uh, the landscape of our metagame? But again, it's been, what, two minutes and a half? Two minutes and a half, we can't say exactly that Yi Sun Shin is the new hotness again. Not no. yet. Some people like the meta, some people don't, but 
to me, the meta is just versatile, right? Like, I agree. Is it going to change? We don't know because everything is possible. Like, you can have hyper carry jungle, or you can go to the goal lane. Here we go on the top side, though. Sanford. Lola going to be able to bring him back now. The fight oh. force is ready, and that's oh. going to be a knockout by the Tempest of Blades. Good kill over to Gary. Lola just funnels it back onto Gary for more damage so that he can actually dive in towards the Yi Shin later. And just as Min has done throughout all games in this series, he's doing so much. He's moving around. You never really know where that Ooh. show is. And I think that's what makes these two men engages from Team Hawk so scary because you're never sure if the Cho is around. You're never sure if Min oh. is around. And look at that. Quickly making work. They converted from that one kill on Sanford into a turret. Three yep. minutes in, by that, the way. That's an early tower. And again, a lot of people don't see this, but I'll give a lot of credit to Min for giving the vision so Lin can roam freely to find the kill on the top side and then move that to a tier one tower three minutes in. That is absolutely insane because even though the gold looks very similar, there's not too much gold differences right now, but open up the map will open up the snowball. And that, that's the word, that's the focus of this series. Yep, about 20 seconds away from the second turtle. Might be more room for Team Hawk to do it because again, they did pop that left uh, part of the map for them, the top lane tier one. Bottom lane though, what's Benny Cutie to do against Panda given that they have gone back to their natural lane? Yeah, now look the second turtle. YSS already moved the turtle to the blue side. Here we go. Min gonna be able to jump in now. Look at the Jeet the way the Ooh. dragon bring Yaoi back, but it's gonna be Sanford oh. who a pinching fly onto three. Gary gets a Tempest of Blaze onto Yaoi, finds a kill. Sanford still on the back line, knocking man up, but Gary picks up the turtle and goes back in on the Carl TZ with a double kill now onto Sanji. He's looking for a triple. He dives in under the tier two, but he's not gonna be able to find it. Sanford still hunting. Lola getting out. Gary dashing out of the wall, but the Furious Dive follows it through. Gary's still gonna be able to actually get out Sanford. Now caught in a bad situation as he's one HP, oh. and that's the kill picked up by Lola. The passive does its thing, and it gets a trade for Sanford, but that is value for Team Hawk. Oh my god, what a team fight there. You can see the value from the Demonic Forest in that team fight in full display. We talk about what to do about this ultimate. You don't really have much choices right now at this, uh, at this point. You just have to wait for Lola to wait out the ult. You bait it, you dash, you commit a team fight. Do the poker face that Echo like to do, right? Go bait out a skill and then just wait. I think that's probably the only option you have. So far, Team Hawk has grown into the series. They are ahead about 2K. Min admitting to the fact that ever since Team Hawk was formed under MPL MY, they were gunning for M4. Imagine that being a qualifier squad, going straight to becoming champions, oh. competing at the world stage. They catch Yaoi. Yaoi also getting brought back by the I'm Offended. Terrified down. Min still looking for one more knockup. Yaoi not able to connect his own I'm Offended. But in the enemy oh. jungle, Carl TZ is going to fall. And this was exactly why we thought it's not going to work. Gary, oh. super fast hands as he just styles out of there. What a style there. I mean, just changing skills. And Carl TZ is definitely falling off. Right? You can feel that he doesn't have the damage or the survivability. If you don't have the support from Yaoi, it's going to be a problem. And here we're going to the bottom side. You can see, thanks to the advantage they got from the jungle, they were able to push a bottom tier oh. one tower. Oh. oh, here comes the hook. Yaoi gets the I'm offended. Panda's still able to get out with the BMI. That's going to be the way Dragon popped in by Min, but it's going to be two Ooh. members taken down. Make it three. Someone else fell on the other side of the map. Wow, what a fight that was forced in by Echo in the gold lane. Wow, I mean, they got the tower, but I think the overstate, the minion wave could have just done the job for them, right? I mean, overstaying for one extra second would have to do uh, so much for you. And that's exactly what Yahoo did, took advantage of the situation and find that I'm offended and that changed the game. Given the uh, outcome of that bottom lane siege from a Team Hawk, could this be what Echo needed? Could this be that, you know, set of kills that puts him back on the map? Because last we checked, and what was that, a minute or two ago, Hawk was just in control, right? What was that, almost 2K gold? Yeah. I'm wondering, because I, I'm seeing Benny Cutie, I have my eyes on the storm. That Zaman Force is not quite lethal yet. Like, he has to spend so much time. We have They have to make sure that Team Hawk is where they need to be to get those attacks in, to get those spells in, uh, that, that Synchro Fissure. And I'm guessing Echo needs to be on top maybe for a little longer. Yeah, I agree. They got to grow that lead. 
they gotta grow that lead and they gotta start shutting down the gold laner, right? Because right now they're doing a great job at shutting down Carl TZ, but Benny, okay? Right now he's not a threat. He's been scaling though. He's been farming pretty well as a lane that's been, uh, well, as a laner that has his turret taken down already. He's two and zero. He's farming pretty well. If he gets to those item power spikes, it might be just a turnaround for Echo. But at this point, you gotta think like, Ling is 4 0 and 1. You know, it's even a bigger threat thinking about why SS is only scaling off. You know, like it's obviously gonna get more damage as we go. But, I mean, Ling is still gonna one shot him going to the late game, especially with Fovius as a threat at the same time. Like, where are you gonna dash? Yep, given that three fan sweep from Echo. The Filipino crowd has uh, gone and made up their own cypher, a little uh, dance circle out in the stands. But as we speak, Team Hawk back into their dominating ways here in game number four. Six minutes in, no turtles so far after that first one for Echo. So I can only imagine what Carl is feeling. Uh, is this the Yushin Shin you were talking about, Mirko? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, again, based on my experience, I've played like five games on the Yusun Shin, the just new trying. Shin. Yeah, uh, the new Yusun Shin uh, in this patch, right? And even when I get the late game, even when I get a few kills early on, I just don't deal as much damage as you would normally do. And now with just Panda also scaling up, I feel like Carl Tz might just, he might even, he might be losing to every single damage dealing member from Team Hawk later on, even in the late stage when he has full items. Yeah, not only do you lose on damage, you also have to consider all the spawn controls going to be diving wow. you. And speaking of dive, bottom lane, Gary is definitely playing the carry role at this point. I mean, just finding push after push, and now Monitor Shocker, and that's, it's just way too much. And the Siege as well, you can see. Every tower. Yep. THQ is still in control, now 3k ahead, almost 8 minutes in. Let's check out the items, exactly what is Benny Cutie oh, building man. up towards. Because, again, this is the one point I think that Echo is ahead on, right? The, that gold lane matchup. 5,700 gold compared to the Claude, which is still standing at 5,500. Honestly, looking at it right now... Look at the Ling, though. Yeah, the three, Ling. Three and a half K ahead. Three and a half K go ahead. And look at the itemization, right? He went for the Berserker's Fury into the Wind Talker, and now if he gets that Endless Battle, man, Echo's gonna have a hard time, even if they have Yaoi to peel. That's so much damage, and even true damage coming off the Endless Battle. Yeah, this is only gonna be scary and scary as Team Hack continue to extend a control in the game. 12 seconds before Lord. The, the thing about the Ruby pick is, Ruby's early game is really not that strong. They're not too much CC, they're not too much damage, and you can't really check vision because it's not that tanky either. So you can see now Ruby, unless he lands that hook, he's not going to be a primary tank. If you match that with Cartesi, who's also squishy, speaking of squishy, here comes Team Hack. Uh-oh, that's going to be the Demonic Force. On towards Woo! Sanford, who pops in the Black Dragon form. Min, so Good. trying to disrupt. That's the I'm Offended, only connecting onto oh! Min right now, as he's going to be melted down, but that's going to be Sanford picking up the kill onto Panda. Man, able to trade that back as Lola's still caught in the midst. Demonic Force buying a little bit of time before he gets bursted down by Benny. Killing Speed popped in. That's a two for one, but Team Hawk find Lord. Team Hawk won that trade. I believe it was worth it. A little too messy, but... Echo are finding what they need to find on the map to eventually get back into this game. Shrinking that huge gold lead. It's an a astronomical lead that Team Hawk has, especially on the team members that matter. But so far, I just noticed now, man, almost 10 minutes in, Echo only pushed one turret. Yeah, again, it's all about map control, right? In the first three minutes, we saw not too much go differences, but because the first tower got taken down, that quickly snowballed into bottom tier one, the top tier two, and now with Lore coming in, even though that Team Hack lost two people, they, you know, Team Echo couldn't push a singular tower. Now the mid-tier one's gonna take him down because of all the crashing coming to the jungle. Oh, Carl T is gonna be assassinated there. Man, one HP, Sanji finds the damage, but Gary's gonna be able to actually Lola. get out. Lola now under the turret, jumps into the Demonic oh. Force, not able to find Yao. We jumps in once again. Gary finds the kill. Panda jumps oh. in with the flicker too, but it's not enough. Benny and Sanji get out. It is a tier one turret taken down by Team Hawk as Gary looks to try to look for the base turret now. Sanji coming in. That's the base turret passive, and Gary needs to back away. Tier two now in the mid lane. Gonna be targeted down and sieged down by Team Hawk. 
That's a clean capitalization by Team Hawk of that small win. Again, three for three across the board. I'm feeling the problems with the Yi Sun Shin now. Again, you have the Yi Sun Shin, you have the Harith. They both need to hit their opponents for an extended period of time. Yeah. They're pure DPS. So the box that Sanji's setting up doesn't seem like it's enough. Yeah, and also they need to scale. But if you think about how much pressure Chao is giving on the map, it's, it's not allowing them to scale, right? Ling is able to split push, find more tower, proc the, the high ground, the, the high ground tower is passive as well. I mean, this is too much pressure from all of the map from Team Hack, and it seems like the draft that Echo has is not paying them any dividends. I agree. I, again, I was um, one of the first downers towards the Yi Sun Shin, right? Oh. The damage, even towards the late game, based on my experience, isn't enough to really become that hyper carry. I was willing to give it the benefit of the doubt, given that it was a nice way to kind of, you know, stop the whole Valentina situation. It's a DPS hero that, oh, yes, it does provide vision, but it's not a game changer when it comes down to a team fight. But yeah, again, it might have been a concept uh, that, that needed more time in the oven, might have needed more reps, but, but we'll see uh, if there is a comeback because it's not over quite yet. There's still inhibitors standing for Echo. Yeah, and here we go. Gary split pushing again. And he's not pushing that much. He's not uh. completely shoving the wave. He gives the wave a gentle tab, and this allows the wave to accumulate. And then Ling, thanks to the mobility, is able to roam to the Lord almost immediately. So now, again, Team Hack has control over the map going to the Lord fight. Again, it's that wave control from Team Hawk, right? They're able to actually slow push the waves and they're going to be able to create so much pressure onto that XP lane where Echo is not really going to be able to respond to either play. There's always that split push threat with the Ling and also that Lord take that's con is constantly threatening Echo. And Echo at this point need to choose one or maybe they just... They need to just defend at this point. Even if they go for a 5v5, it's not a 50-50, it's more of a 70-30 as it stands. Yeah. Most things that Team Hack have their eyes on come for free. That's what this 4K gold lead is giving them. Ooh. And for Echo, as you mentioned, it's a hard decision. Like, I, I wouldn't even know where to begin. Dave. Uh-oh. I mean, I, I don't know where to Whoa. begin, but here it comes. Yeah, we would, I'm offended finding Gary and Min, but Gary's gonna be able to get out, but that's gonna be a lot of damage placed on the back line. Panda flickering out, man, gonna fall. But the Demonic Force now by Lola, over towards Benny with one more coming down. It's a one for zero for Echo. They bought a bit more time, but look again. Echo, they lost a lot of HP there. Now it's still, despite that pick, gonna be Team Hawk who has more pressure on the Lord. But Echo, they're using this man advantage really well, forcing it instantly. Ah. Uh Speaking of when you don't know what to do, it's the decision making. Like how decisive can you be? How fast can you make your decision and execute on it? That's going to make the difference, right? You saw Yaoi jump in with the hook, and that made a whole lot of difference. But that difference uh -oh. is quickly, quickly minimized as Hacks now making a move on the Lord again. 4v5, it's going to be the retry battle. Oh. Gary wins it. Carl Teasy going to be kicked down, locked up by Minus Panda, jumps in with the blazing duet to the back line. Benny, now in the midst of it all, jumping back and forth, getting a kill, getting shut down though by oh. the likes oh. of Panda. Min still surviving, his stats gonna be Sanford running away. The Furious died by Man, as that's gonna be enough to Woo. lock him down. Four for one, Team Hawk on a run now to equalize in game four. Oh no, this looks familiar. It's just one defender left. Yao is gonna take about five or six seconds before oh. he can come to help defend. Sanji puts up the ult, will oh. the fall. Nope. Ooh. All right. No, 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 no. I think Echo's still in this. Yep. Sanji still dishing out damage, poking them down. Mid lane base server gonna fall. BMI popped in back. Yaoi, very close to getting that I'm offended. But like you mentioned, Leo, not enough just yet. Team Hawk back away. Now, if the Lord come close for the charge, that's another free high ground tower. And remember, all at the same time, bottom wave is slowly accumulating towards the high ground of Team Echo. Team Hawk, all they have to do is push this Lord in. Can Whoa. they do it? Benny QT finds a massive pick Ooh. and that's two on the board. Benny is eight and one. He is single-handedly stopping the end from Team Hawk. Is this the key to victory? At this point, it's all on Benny. Can you find the crucial kills onto Panda, onto Gary? Because only him has the damage to do it. Carl TZ is still not there yet. He's level 15. This is a miracle. This is your situation. Can you find the damage? Now, the good thing about YSS is also the ultimate. The Mountain Shark gives you so much vision, which allows you to know, okay, is the link split pushing? Do we How do we answer this? That's the benefit of YSS. And here it comes to dive. Tap of the blades. 
But that's oh! what I'm saying, Yaoi! Yaoi! To perfection! Yaoi with an absolutely insane, I'm offended, to catch Gary. Ruby is one of the natural <laughs> predators of most assassin Assassins. junglers that have high mobility. And right here, we're seeing the rubber band effect. They're shrinking that gold lead. Now at 2K, they're oh. going to make a play here in the jungle. Trying to go for that main artery, that mid lane tier one. So far, Echo not out of the woods just yet, but we're seeing signs of life. Yes, wow. and also, Yaoi has a flicker now. That's even a bigger threat. If Yaoi, before the flicker, have to only play knowing where Ling is, knowing how, how your jungler play, but now he can actually engage like the lore fight previously. Oh, that stopped the Here conceal. We go. Min looking for an engage as Lola jumps in with the demonic force. Min oh! looking forward. Yaoi doing the same thing as Daspi Sanford splitting them back. And Lola and Min, they're isolated from the team. This is it. Min losing the immortality, but it's going to be able to actually Benny. get away. That's a disengage coming Benny. in with Gary rotating again. Benny, 1v4 in the midst of it all. Still surviving. And then stopping Team Hawks engage. The storm, the typhoon, the hurricane. Wow. So one, five members of Team Hawk, enough time to buy for Echo to defend. And we are sitting at dead even. Now, this is a deja vu because Team Hawk has a tendency to go a little bit of sloppy in the mid to late game, right? Sometimes we saw that being punished heavily in the previous game. And this is a series, this is the moment where they have to hold steady and go to the next objective. You saw Chow, right? You had Min and Lola jumped in by themselves, disconnected from the team. That's very uncharacteristic of Hack, who plays very, very disciplined most of the time in the entire series so far. Here we go. Yaoi again finding Panda, but Panda's gonna be able to actually Benny. crash out. Benny again for the damage right now. The blazing duet will be popped. Gary to the back line. Is that the demonic force popped in as well? Yaoi with no, I'm offended. Cannot actually peel for a seam. Lola, demonic force once again onto the back line. Onto Carl Teasy, but still gonna be able to cut away. You can see the damage being placed on. Lola still surviving for oh. a bit longer. Carl Teasy finally finishes him off, but Sanford falls as well. Both both of the XP laners have been taken down, but the real world inflation comes down. Yaoi missing when I'm offended. Team Hawk still trying to get an opening here around Panda. the Lord. Yaoi Panda. taking low, Min on the flanks, Panda in the mid lane, looking for the base. Right Panda. now, Gary jumps in, helping the mid laner out. Call DZ for these Min off, using the modern shotgun device. The oh. mid lane will be pushed in. Team Hawk with one cannon minion. Call DZ for the down, and they're going to get oh. Yaoi and Panda will end the game to equalize against the tournament favorites. A taste of their own medicine. Echo loses game four at the brink of a reverse.